NVIDIA's desktop GPU lineup is expected to be refreshed with GeForce RTX 40 series GPUs with super variants, according to rumors that have been circulating for some time. However, these rumors did not appear to be credible. On the other hand, there are now a number of leaks that assert that NVIDIA will launch its GeForce RTX 40E Super, GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super, and GeForce RTX 4070 Super at an event on January 8, and then will gradually roll them out later in the following month, according to At Home, X Preview, and Hassan Mochaba, who published an alleged excerpt from a document from NVIDIA. The new GeForce RTX 40 series Super Graphics cards are scheduled to be officially introduced one day before the start of the Consumer Electronics Show 2024. In the meantime, the GeForce RTX 4070 Super from NVIDIA is anticipated to be available for purchase on January 17th. The GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super is scheduled to be made available on January 24th, and the GeForce RTX 4080 Super is anticipated to be released on January 31st. Hello and thanks for tuning in. Before we go any further, please take a moment to support us by liking this video. Subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you'd always know when we put out new videos. And remember, sharing is caring. Okay, let's get back to it. The Consumer Electronics Show CES 2024 might not be the same technology conference that it was before the coronavirus pandemic. Having said that, it continues to be influential enough for businesses to use it as a foundation for the launch of their products. Another one of them is NVIDIA and many people have been looking forward to the launch of its GeForce RTX 40 series Super GPU lineup in time for the Consumer Electronics Show in 2024. Now there are new rumors that suggest that it might make its debut even sooner. A screenshot was allegedly posted by a leaker named Hassan Muchaba on X, which was formerly known as Twitter, on December 14. The screenshot purportedly revealed the official launch date of the GeForce RTX 4070 Super, which appears to be scheduled for January 8. This would make it one day before the beginning of the CES 2024. Other rumors that have been circulating suggest that the GeForce RTX 40E Super and the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super will be released at the same time, according to Tom's hardware. The other products in the series might be available for purchase in stores as early as the middle of January or as late as the end of January, depending on the rumors that you have heard. NVIDIA has not yet confirmed the price points or specifications of the product, However, there are rumors circulating about these particulars as well. The GeForce RTX 4060 Ti could be purchased for as little as $399, which is considered to be affordable. At the upper end of the price tier, which is anticipated to have a greater number of CUDA cores, there is a possibility that the price will increase by hundreds of dollars. The GeForce RTX 4090 is anticipated to be priced close to $1,599. Since November of 2023, it has been speculated that NVIDIA will use the CES as its launch platform. Leakers at the time believed that the company could be releasing at least two new graphics processing units by the month of January. Additionally, images began to circulate that purportedly depicted the lettering and brand colors that were allegedly utilized for the GeForce RTX 40 series Super GPUs. Many of the rumors that have been circulating up until this point have been kept quiet by the company, which means that many of them will remain unverifiable until CES 2024. Another interesting aspect of these reports is that they have re-emphasized the specifications of NVIDIA's rumored GeForce RTX 40E Super, GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super, and GeForce RTX 4070 Super products. These graphics cards are expected to be among the best graphics cards available on the market if they are released. As it turns out, the GeForce RTX 4080 Super from NVIDIA is anticipated to come with a fully enabled AD103 graphics processing unit and memory that is slightly faster than the predecessor, but it will keep its total graphics power TGP, at 320 watts. It is interesting to note that it is anticipated that the RTX 4080 Super will be priced between $999 and $1,099, rendering the original RTX 4080 obsolete. In the meantime, the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super might be available with either an AD103-275 or an AD102-175 GPU, each of which has 84 48 CUDA cores and 16 GB of GDDR6X memory. According to rumors, the official recommended retail price is somewhere between $799 and $849. 
This will force manufacturers of graphics boards to either discontinue the production of non-Super GeForce RTX 4070 Ti graphics cards relatively quickly or significantly reduce the price of these cards. Some people believe that the GeForce RTX 4070 Super will be based on the AD104-350 or AD103-175 GPU and will have 7168 CUDA cores. This is a significant increase from the 5888 CUDA cores that are found in the GeForce RTX 4070 that is not the Super version. In the meantime, the product's manufacturer's suggested retail price, MSRP, ranges from $599 to $649, which indicates that the original GeForce RTX 4070 will either become obsolete or receive a significant price reduction. One of the primary objectives of chip design is to enhance performance while simultaneously minimizing power consumption. Continuous process improvements CPI, are activities that chipmakers and chip designers typically engage in. The goal of CPI is to increase production yields and reduce performance variations through the utilization of Statistical Process Control SPC. The graphics processors known as the AD103 and AD104 from NVIDIA have been in production for well over a year at this point. It's highly likely that both NVIDIA and TSMC have found multiple ways to improve NVIDIA's custom for and process technology in order to increase production yields, improve performance, and reduce power consumption. In addition to this, NVIDIA has improved its GPU power management, which has enabled the company to not only improve the performance of its new products but also keep the power consumption of its older products at the same level. When compared to their predecessors, these new models are likely to offer significant improvements in terms of both their performance and their memory capabilities. Graphics card enthusiasts and industry professionals alike are eagerly awaiting official confirmation from NVIDIA, as well as additional information regarding these exciting new graphics accelerators. In conclusion, the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super and the RTX 4070 Super are shaping up to be formidable additions to NVIDIA's GPU lineup, provided that the specifications that have been leaked from the company are accurate. Despite the fact that the information comes from a variety of sources, it ought to be taken with a typical amount of salt because plans are prone to change whenever possible. Despite the fact that pricing, specifications, and availability have not been officially confirmed, it is a reasonably safe bet that we will see all three of the new GPUs in the following month. When it comes to your next upgrade, it is recommended that you give some thought to the RTX 40 Super Series if you are currently utilizing a graphics card that belongs to the 20 series generation. When compared to the 30 series, it is anticipated that the RTX 40 Super Series will incorporate significant improvements in terms of both performance and features. This will make it a more future-proof option that will allow you to continue using it until the RTX 50 lineup is released. Additionally, as a result of the introduction of more recent technologies and enhancements in the 40 series, it's highly probable that you will experience a more significant leap in terms of the capabilities and performance of your graphics. And that concludes today's video. Do let us know what you think about today's discussion in the comments section below. And you can support this channel by liking this video, subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you'll always know when we put out new content. And remember, sharing is caring. Take care and see you in the next video.